Welcome to the Wolf College of Coffee's educational video for this week. My name is Justin Brook, I'm the Coffee Partnership Manager for Wolf Coffee Roasters and today we'll be going through how to heat and texture alternate milk and also how to pour that into our espresso to reach the perfect, perfect coffee for our customer. Today we're going to be going through how to, how to texture and pour alternate milks properly. These will include soy milk, oat milk and almond milk. There are a few ways that I've discovered how to texture and pour alternate milk properly. The first one's having a blend that's not too acidic. One of the biggest problems we face as baristas in fighting the alternate milk is the curdling reaction we get when we're pouring into an acidic coffee. Choosing a blend that's not full of acidity, so that means a, a blend that's been roasted to be able to perform with alternate milks the correct way. A uh, light roasted coffee, you'll have a lot of trouble pouring into this with alternate milks as the acidity is quite high. So when this mixes with our, with our alternate blends, it starts to curdle. This is a reaction we do not want when we're trying to give a finished product to our customers. Second step is not overheating our milk. We want to make sure that our milk's at the right temperature, 50 to 55 degrees, as alternate milk does continue to heat after we've finished texturing and stretching our milk. The last technique we use is using alternate milk cold. If you use alternate milk in a room temperature, it doesn't have enough time to stretch and texture itself to get to the right silky smooth milk that we want to be able to pour into our espresso. So by keeping it refrigerated, it gives us that little bit extra time to get it to where we want it to be. So whilst texturing soy milk, guys, it's very important not to fill our jug up too much, not to fill it up not enough. So what we're doing is going just before the lip here, guys, just to fill up our jug prior to heating our milk. We're going to purge our steam wand. We're going in straight at about 2 o'clock into my jug, half on top of our, on our soy milk, half underneath it. We're going to pull our, our pressure on at full listening for them nice kisses, which is the stretching of our milk. Now I've got a lot of air in straight away, and now I'm just texturing, guys. Straight underneath, remembering not too hot. Stopping at 55 degrees, so then it continues to heat up to the 60 to 65, which is our ideal pouring temperature. So our next milk we'll be pouring with is our almond milk. Now guys, it's a very similar concept to our other alternate milks. It's a lot of air at the start, okay? Almond milk's quite thick, so we don't need to texture too much. We basically just want to circulate our milk, guys, so it keeps a nice, shiny and, and blended texture. Same kind of concept, 50 to 55 degrees with almond milk, because that will continue to keep heating. Now a little trick with almond milk that i found that helps me when I'm pouring my, my coffee is that if I split my milk into a larger jug, the almond milk stays blended a lot nicer and will help with pouring your latte up. This will glide across your crema a lot nicer now, guys. Third but not least is our oat milk. This has very similar characteristics to our almond milk, as in it textures very thick, which means we want a lot of texturing at the start, but basically want our steam on to drop under our milk so we're getting a lot more circulation and getting it nice and smooth and silky for our pour. A lot of, lot of, lot of air at the start, a lot of big air at the start, guys. Now we're going straight under. Still remembering the 50 to 55 degrees. It follows its brother with almond milk and still continues to heat up after you are finished. It's very vital with this milk that we get the pour underway very quickly after it's done because you will get all your microfoam settling at the top and all the milk itself sitting underneath. So what's going to happen guys if you don't pour straight away, all your milk's going to come out first and your foam won't come out to the very end.
in conclusion today, I'd just like to say thank you for stopping into the Wolf College of Coffee educational piece on alternate milks. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to jump onto our, our Facebook page or email us at info at wolfcoffeeroasters.com.au. And if you liked the video or thought it was very helpful, please don't forget to tap that thumbs up button or subscribe to us. Thank you, guys.